Hello, in today's video I am going to give you Canva tutorial for beginners. Canva is a free to use online graphic design tool. You can use it to create different things like social media posts, presentations, posters, videos, logos and much more. To start with, type canva.com on Google. Click on sign up for free. You can continue with Google, Facebook or with your email. So I am going to click on continue with Google. So here I am, this is my Canva homepage. On your homepage you can see your recent designs, your recent projects. If you go to your right hand side panel and you click on templates, you will see different templates that you can use for your projects. Here you can find videos, posts and many different templates. You can even search the headings or topics. Here you can search under the headings and you can find different templates. For example, if you click on social media, you will find all the templates related to social media posts, videos and different things that you can need. Similarly, if you click on education, you can get all the templates that can help you to create educational presentations, flashcards, posters and different things. If you click on video, you will get templates to create your Facebook video, YouTube video or different other templates. Let's go back to our home page. If you click on projects in the right hand side panel, you will see all your already created projects. Click on create a design on the top right corner to create a design. You can either type in the search bar or you can select from the suggestions below. Let's start with the classroom poster. The poster page will appear in front of you. You can also see different templates on your left hand side. You can choose any of the template. I will click on this classroom rules template and it will appear on the page. So this is how you can choose a template. Now let's go back to the home page and create an Instagram post. So this is the Instagram page. On your left hand side you can find different templates. You can scroll down to find more. You can even search Instagram post template by typing in the search bar. You can even select from the recent topics you have already searched. I want to search a template related to beauty. You can even be more specific by selecting the given recommendations. Scroll down to choose the best template. Here I have found one. I will click on that and the template will be selected. So today we will learn that how we can make different changes to the selected template and how we can use it. First let's see how we can change the background color. Select the background, go to the background color. Here you will find different photo colors and default colors that you can choose from. You can choose any background color you want. Now let's see how we can change the font size and font style. 
Now select the title. If you will click on the plus icon, you will increase the font size and if you will click on minus, you will decrease the font size. So as you can see by clicking on plus, I am increasing the font size. You can even hold the corners and drag it inwards to decrease the size. Again, hold the corners and drag them outwards to increase the size. Adjust it and make it in the center. Now to change the font style, click on the text, go to font styles, scroll down and you can get different font styles. You can select any of them. You can even change the color of the text. Click on text color and here you will find different colors. If you want to delete any text, you can click on that text and click on delete icon. You can even change the size of the object. Hold it from the corners, drag inward to decrease the size and drag outward to increase its size. I want to add one more feature. So I will copy paste the arrow and the text box. Select the arrow, right click and click on copy. Right click on the space and click on paste to paste the arrow. Adjust the size of the arrow. Now repeat the same steps to copy the text box. Now add some text in the text box. Click on text in the left hand side panel. Choose the style. Add your text. Reduce the size and adjust it inside the text box. Check the font size of the text, it's 19.1, so we have to adjust the new text according to it. Either select the font size or you can type it yourself. Let's change the text color so that it matches with the template. Now let's change the background color of this rectangular text box. Select the box, go to color and select any color of your choice. I want to adjust the distance between the two arrows so I am going to move the text box and the arrow. This object picture doesn't look real, so I'm going to delete it and replace it with the new product picture. Select the object and hit the delete key from the keyboard. On the left hand side panel, click on uploads to upload a file from your device. Select the picture you want to upload. Picture is being uploaded now. Click on the picture to insert it. If you are using Canvas Pro version, you can easily delete the background. Click on Edit Picture. Click on Background Remover.
if you do not have the pro version then try to download the png uh, image of your product now adjust the size and direction of the image Let's change the contact information. I am adding just a random number. Now I want to change the background color so that it can complement with the product image. Now I will change the text color to enhance it more. Select the text and go to the color. Change the color. Now to add the call icon go to elements on your left hand side panel. Type call icon you will get different elements and designs. Select any one, change its color, reduce its size. After making necessary adjustments, now we are good to go. We can download this image and we can use it. Click on share on your top right corner. Select download. Now finally you have got your picture. If you liked the video hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.